Jerry Sherman, Chief Inspector for Department of Transportation. Um, this project is to alleviate the merge in Linwood where you have 405 and 525 traffic coming onto I-5, yet I-5 trying to exit to 196 in Linwood. Um, it's a huge congested area. You have too much merging traffic. two lanes of traffic, one going over top of the other in what we call a three-sided structure, basically a tunnel. And I-5 itself will have its own dedicated lane to exit off to 196. This is where the tunnel will be. So right now we're doing what's called a soldier pile wall. Uh, what the drill rig does is it drills a big hole. It's about 57 feet deep. The concrete truck will back up and fill that hole up with concrete. And then the next crane will come over and set what's called the H-beam, the steel pile. And that gets set and this just carries on until the tunnel is done. This is just one side of the tunnel wall. The ramp coming off of 525 and the ramp coming off 405 will come here and be over top of each other. The challenges will be the environmental aspects of the project. Just because we have so much exposed soils, we have to keep everything covered. This entire project is exposed dirt. So that's our biggest challenge right now. I will have the vaults installed, which you won't see because they will be buried. A lot of the walls will be built. You'll start to see the tunnel come together. Um, a lot of the other work you probably won't see, but drainage is a big one. A lot of the electrical, we have a lot of temporary illumination poles up right now. We will have a lot of permanent poles, new light fixtures. We will not do night work. We won't have any lane restrictions, no lane closures from November 10th to January 7th. So everything will be behind, behind the barrier and day work and no affecting of traffic.